<clears throat> Hello? Um, I don't even know if this still works. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I guess it does. <laughs> hey, what's up? Is anybody here? No? There's like 31 people here. No, it's okay. It doesn't work. Shit. Maybe I need to go back to the drawing board. Oh my God. There's a lot of people. Hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm here. I mean, it's going to be a short one today because I kind of got lost track and, and, and lost um, track. Man, I lost track. Um, but we're going to do something. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. You're all back. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, hi. Hey, hi, 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 hey. Hey. Um, all right. So we are going to do some... So So the idea is... I mean, the last time I streamed was probably this time last year. It's been a long time, right? Um, and that's because I we had a baby, and and babies are a lot of work. Turns out that four year olds are also a lot of work combined with babies, so it's been like pretty busy. But anyway, as you can see behind me, it's not like the tidiest, but the dad garage is done. All like the the DIY stuff is done. I just have to tidy up. I have to like put some stuff up and whatever um and i can stream from here my internet's good so i'm gonna um try to do some stuff all right but the plan is to there's not gonna be a schedule um like there was there was a little bit of a schedule last time uh, this time i'm just gonna stream whenever i can and i'll probably just stream stuff that i would otherwise just be sitting here playing by myself in my dad garage anyway um so currently that is Fallout 4, so we're going to play some Fallout 4 to start with uh, until we get bored of it, and then we'll move on to something else, because I'm a bit shitty when it comes to... Well, I'm not shitty when uh, when it comes to games. It's just that, like, um, you know, I jump around a lot. You know, sometimes I, I, I like to play a game, and then maybe randomly three days later, I just drop it and start playing something else. You know, you know what I mean? Do you ever do that? Wow, there's a lot of people in the chat right now. Anyway, chatters. Let's do it. We're going to do uh, Rufio Lorenzo wants a vault. Yes. Okay. And it's Fallout playing Fallout 4. There it is. All right. I'll update that. Um... And then I'll put a thing out. And while that's happening, look, I'll launch Fallout 4 to you. Okay. I'll do a tweet. Oh. Is it too loud? You'll have to let me know. Again, the settings. I've got a new computer in between since last time, too. So, like, all my settings are lost and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, am I, like, in an okay spot? I guess bottom right's pretty good for Fallout. There's, like nothing down there generally I guess it's too loud do a tweet <laughs> can you turn it down <laughs> sound is good okay I can I mean I can always adjust it later as long as you can hear me and you can hear the fallout music we should be good right yeah yeah do you no Love you, Sips, have my children? I've already got too many. <laughs> I don't want more. I mean, if you take care of them, sure. <laughs> but anyway. Hi. Okay, right in the middle. Do you want me to? All right, fine. I'll fucking, I'll do it. The thing is, though, is like, is there settings here for audio? There's nothing like where you can play it in the background. Watch, if I like all tab out. What the fuck? Like, the whole game freezes. That is so dumb. Anyway, let's put me in the middle then, shall we? We'll just, like... Okay, we'll start from there, and then we can work our way back. Uh, oh, yeah, tweet as well. Sorry, it's just going to, like, go... Okay, let me tweet this. Come and... Come and watch Rufio build, build, build a vault. That's what we're going to do. 
<laughs> I love that. I love the thing that it's put up. <laughs> it's put up a thing that says <laughs> back next week. I guess it maybe like the thing hasn't updated. Oh man, the fucking tweet is is amazing. Come and watch Rufio build a vault. Back next week. <laughs> oh man. I'm so good at streaming, it's crazy. Anyway, too scary for you? Alright, let me fix it then. Hang on a second. I don't want to scare anyone. Especially like what if we have new like people that have never been here before and they're not used to like um Oh look, it's the fucking poster with all the perks and stuff. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. Anyway. Hey, what's up? You love the stubble? <laughs> yeah. It's a real testament to my laziness uh, recently. Like, Lewis was over this weekend and stuff, so I haven't, like, you know. Oh. Oh. Alright. Anyway, I'll do a garage tour soon. Um, it's not quite ready for a tour yet. I mean, it's nice. There is a there is a, a dryer in here though. <laughs> I mean, it, there's got to be. There's no room for it elsewhere. So, yeah. Anyway. All right. Okay. Let me just get myself sorted out here. Okay. I think I'm pretty much ready to go. Anyway, Rufio Lorenzo, level 24. Um, I have played a grand total of one day and 22 hours 37 minutes. Apparently, is Rufio Lorenzo. Um, but I started another game like kind of recently, maybe like um, like a month ago, month and a half ago. Um, I just made some random character and I did the whole Brotherhood of Steel quest line, which was pretty cool actually. But then it sort of made me want to like go off and do like the railroad and um, the the Institute quest lines because there's like they're like the three really big factions where you know the main storyline is affected or whatever so like i don't know maybe we with rufio we could do like railroad or institute or something after but for now we'll do we'll do this vault dlc right i've done some of the vault dlc as well but um i want to like build because i mean i like our i like the base right like i spent a lot of time building this stupid ass base and it's good i really like it we've got some other settlements open as well like i don't know if you guys remember do you want to see what he looks like now too look he's got the fucking silver whatever <laughs> with the with the hollywood glasses uh, maybe we can change that too i think i think we're gonna need to use some power armor so we'll probably have to go back to wait what weapons and stuff do i have i have a club with razors all over it i have a pistol that has like a cool scope and stuff. There's trash can Carla. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I got a big old sniper rifle. There's trash can Carla again. I guess you can't see how much ammo I have because I'm kind of like hiding it, right? Looks like someone from Men in Black 3. Yeah, it looks like a 50s detective. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. I think he's got a crippling addiction to something as well maybe i need to go top right should i do that i'll go top right all right hang on a second top right razor blades it's prince it's kind of prince isn't it all right let me go here so that you can see my status effects and stuff and we should be good okay and we have of course this guy remember we went we did the tower quest i put them on youtube anyway if you were following any of that stuff so you have like this weird like sniper tower thing, which I think looks kind of cool. I'm like I'm pretty happy with this this side of the base, the the um, Sanctuary Hills base. Like, look, I even put some nice music up here for these guys and stuff. You can listen to the radio while they're up here. Um, and then I um, I'm shaming this guy. I put him in a dress too because he was annoying me. Actually, I think I put a lot of the people in dresses, but this guy for sure was really being annoying, so I put him in a dress. Now he's walking around in a dress. I don't know if he likes that or not, but anyway, that was my my little way of shaming. And then, of course, inside Rufio's, um, he's got the... Uh, I'm strong, not understand human. What the fuck? I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't even remember what I called these guys anyway. We got like some bartenders, I guess. We got a whole bunch of bobbleheads. Well, I say a whole bunch. We only have three. There's a whole bunch missing. We should probably try to find some more. Um, and then, of course, Rufio's... 
really fucking disturbing bedroom. I mean, this is why we need a vault, right? We need to get down and we need to get into a vault and then fucking, I don't know, make some new shit or whatever. Like, we even, he even has a bathroom. Look at that, with a plumbing sign. It's so sweet, isn't it? I forgot how much work I put into this. This is really good. It was fun. All right. Let's go to see if we can find some power. I should have a whole bunch of fusion cores too. I'm pretty sure I do. I think all my stuff is not in Lexington. It was at the Starlight Drive-In. That's right. Yes. It was the Starlight Drive-In was where I put all the power armor, if you remember. Yeah. Not sure what to feel. Well, you know what? Yeah. I found Fallout 4 again. Yeah, I've been playing it a little bit recently, actually. It's like... I don't know, it's one of those games that you binge a lot on and then you... You just sort of forget about, right? Fuck, my power armor collection is not... Who are you? Hey, I just wanted to introduce myself. I heard your radio beacon, so I figured... Why not? I wanted to personally thank you for giving us this opportunity. Any place you want me to pitch in? Yeah, anywhere but in the power armor room. What the hell? No. Not right now. Thanks. <laughs> Just let me know. Okay. Thanks. Holy shit. Do you think we could, like... You think you want some of this? We better not, actually. We might need... Hey, where's that thing going? Look at it. It's just running like crazy. Anyway, this is where we stored all the power armor. I guess this is our best one. It's not the best. Look, we have, like, these crampy power armors here, too. They're not amazing. Uh, this one seems to be the... Are we missing anything from this, actually? No, we're not. Okay, there's no, like, frame or anything. So I guess we could just hop into that one and start fucking doing some shit. Um, look at this fucking pose with the the thing. All right, and then I've got my 10 millimeter pistol. Hey, what's up, Merlin Fry? How are you doing? You good? How's the dad garage? It's really good, actually. Thanks. It's, like, pretty... It's more or less set up. There's a little bit of tidying I need to do and stuff. And then once that's done, we'll do, like, a... We could do like a little tour, it'll be nice. Be really, um, you know. Be really gay. But uh, fun at the same time too, it'd be really fun. Um, this is like some Raider power armor, look, and it's considered stolen, so I don't really want to go out here. T45, T45 is not as good as T51, right? T51, do we have a T51? What on earth? Who is that? Who's shooting? Still in one piece. What the fuck? Look at this. Look at the dress and everything. Who was she shooting at? Was there something in here? Oh, it's a there's a fly. <laughs> That's disgusting. In the cow pen. That is really gross. Good job down there. Jeez. I would have been too scared to do that. All right, anyway, back to it. We want like a T45 helmet, right? We don't even really need this. So T, oh no, T51 helmet if we've got one. I don't think we have one. We're gonna have to look for one. Okay, anyway, we don't have one. Um, and we would like to go to, where's the, oh my God, look at all this. Vault Tech Calling, this is one. Tune the radio to Vault 88 radio beacon. Okay, we'll do that. Vault 88. Authentication code word, impish. Vault 88 emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available vault Tech personnel are required to respond under emergency protocol VT76. Okay. This signal will repeat. Great, okay. Let's turn that off then. We don't need to hear that again. Anyway. Um... Rufio's former gang members came back to get revenge. He wasn't in a gang with like a... I have a T-51 helmet. Middle set of armor. Oh, really? Did I just look at it and T-51 helmet? No, I don't. That's... It's not there. Look, I'm telling you. Look, I don't see the helmet. It's definitely not there. It's a T-51 left arm and a right leg. Look, that one doesn't even... Most of these don't even have helmets on at all. This one does. But it's a T-45. I want a T-51. Oh, what's this up here, actually? That's a T-51 torso. That's a Raider Power 2 helmet and a T-45 left arm. All right, no. That's none of the stuff that we need. All right, fine. We're hopping in. We're going to hop in. And we're going to hope that we have a couple of fusion cores. I think I should have some. 
We'll see. First time watching your stream. Love watching your channel. You're probably not the only one. Ayo Mayo 18. I haven't streamed for like a year, sadly. Oh, I have 22 cores. Okay, great. <laughs> and a little pistol. <laughs> it's nice. Okay. Rufio Lorenzo is in full power armor and we are ready to go and investigate Vault 88, which is down here next to the Suffolk County Charter School, which I've never been to, and the Quincy Police Station. Again, I've never been there. Actually, I don't know if I've ever been to the Warwick Homestead either. Um, there's a whole bunch of shit down here I've never been to. Somerville Place? I guess I've been there, but I don't remember ever going there. I have not discovered this place, okay. Quincy? No. And no. Here? No. Okay, all these places are on my map, but I've never been to them. Coast Guard Pier. Hmm. I don't remember that. Uh, Hester Consumer Robotics. Oh my god, I haven't even been there. What's this? Four Leaf Fishing, General Atomics Factory? No. Uh, the, I could start from, I guess, like over here. Maybe the Combat Zone? Boston Common might be even better. All right. We're heading to Boston Common. Oh, God. Jeez. Who knows? Yeah. Why did I leave the Hugs cast? Well, I mean, Lewis came over for the weekend. We had a big bust up, and I decided to leave. I said, get out of my dad garage. <laughs> we don't want your kind here. And then uh, that was it. The rest is history. Uh. Will I play the new Hearthstone expansion? Yeah, for sure. I can't wait, actually. I've been playing it a, a well, I say a lot. I haven't been playing it a lot recently, but I have been playing it fairly consistently. Like, um, I played last night for a few hours. Well, I say a few hours. It was like maybe an hour and a half. But anyway, so what I've been doing in Hearthstone, it's been really fun, uh, for me at least recently, is, uh, oh, look at all these guys. What's this? He's got a Tato on him. And an athletic outfit. I don't know if I have one of those. Man, a lot has changed since I last played with Rufio, though. Because now, um, you have the whole, um, you have, like, all the display things and stuff. It's, like, really good. All right, we're going to go down this way. We have to be careful because there are super mutants and there's, like, a whole bunch of raiders and stuff down here, too. We'll grab some grenades. I've got the sniper rifle, actually. Um, Silver Shroud radio signal. I think I may have done that. Because that's where I got, like, the 1950s detective with Hollywood glasses outfit from. Turns out that it does not save your butt in a fight, though. Um, so, you know, you, you might want, like, some armor or something. Okay, check this out. Somebody's seen me, but we're going to try our best to snipe them if they come out. Look, this is us being sneaky in power, in power arm, full power armor from before the... Uh, Bombs drop. Bam! <laughs> that motherfucker. Woo! All right, he's dead. Anyone else? Yeah, there's somebody back there, I guess. Um. Whoa. Whoa! It's a dog. Oh shit! There's a dude up here. I see. Oh my god. Excuse me. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. All right, we'll take all this crap. We might as well, right? Man, this fucking sniper rifle is crazy. It's so good. I forgot that I actually had some pretty good stuff on old Rufio. Um, all right, I'll go in here. Huh, do I want any of this crap? Not really. Technical high school. Do I want to drive this bus? Yeah, I do actually. I would love to. I don't have the jetpack on this either. So like, I don't want to spoil. Oh, we don't have to go up there. Look, I found his head. Perfect. Who's that? I fucking heard that. Come to get you. Yeah, anyway. Dog trying to eat power armor. Where a dummy, you're right. That is a pretty dumb move. Oh, look at this. Hey, what's up? I can't see. <laughs> he can't see. I shot him in the back of the head. Also, oh, I missed him. I was going to hit him in the dick, but I missed him. Anyway. This is silence, too. Holy shit, this actually packs a bit of a punch now, too. This is great. All right, let's grab all this crap. Well, just mostly the, just the ammo and stuff. We don't really need any of the other crap. And we'll make our way towards here. Towards our destination, which is, of course, Vault 88. And maybe, you know, we can get sidetracked along the way, too. Oh, empty milk bottles. So, my like, my plan is to um, move Rufio's whole operation into Vault 88. Because I think that'd be cool. I like the whole 
thing where you ha you can get like settlers in, you can get them to do like jobs and shit like that. I think it's pretty fun. I keep like trying to change my weapon. Oh, look at this, like right in his butt. I bet you they won't even know I'm here. No, it's not true at all, actually. Oh, did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, great. It was a little bit wobbly. Oh shit, is this one of the beeping ones? Better not be. He knows. He's coming. You can smell me. Oh shit. That's not good. <laughs> Alright, we got him. Fucking super mutants. Holy shit. Um, what was I saying? Does anyone remember? I don't. I'm sorry about that. Oh shit, look at this. There's like a little fucking rest stop. Look, we can actually like... Maybe we should close the door. Oh, there's not even a button on this one. Unbelievable. We can't even close the door and get some privacy. That sucks. All right, we'll get this coolant and stuff. Some of the stuff's good, right? Paint, like it breaks down into shit that you can actually use, uh, which is nice. Like a desk fan. Those are really good. Oh shit, look, it's like one of those gross sinks. I don't know if you ever heard me try to explain this to Lewis and Simon one time about like these like basement sinks. Anyway, if you were wondering what they looked like, they pretty much look like this. Um, I mean, the tap isn't as nice as that normally, but you get the idea, right? What's this? Mr. Handy Fuel? Sure. Rat poison? You never know when you might need some of that. Gumdrops? Oh my god. And of course, we have to always pick up pre-war money as well, because we can make like a bathtub. Um, whoa! Look at this toilet! It's actually... It looks like pretty good! You can't even use it. You can't flush it or anything, but it's not. It doesn't have shit all over it. Like, somebody's cleaned that recently, right? Or do you think it's just... Do you think that would happen if the if the end of the world came, right? There was, like... They're in America, too? Yeah, I know, yeah. It's like, it is totally a North American thing. The whole, um, fucking weird sink thing in the, in the basement. Like, uh, British people don't even really have basements in their houses. Like, they just don't build houses like that over here. Well, especially, well, mine doesn't have one anyway. I wish I had one. And most houses I've been to over here don't have them. So if you're British and you have a basement in your house, good for fucking you, okay? Because most people don't, I would say. But anyway, so here we are. The world has ended. There's been a big atomic explosion and everybody is dead. Uh, except for like a couple of people who managed to somehow survive. I don't know what this is. Should we do like a bit of recon? It looks like super mutants. It is. Look, you can smell them from about 10 miles away. They're so gross. Um, anyway, so you go topside, you go walking around. Everything is just disgusting. You know, like there's no, there's not even anything like this. You know, there's no like civilization, nothing. Like it's just a fresh hell where it's just you by yourself. You're, you're, you know, you, you never meet anyone else because everyone has died. Some freak of nature reason you managed to survive or whatever and you come around through like the ruins and stuff and you try to find you know just a leg up you know you're just trying to you're fighting for survival and you you really need to desperately take a shit as well okay like you haven't taken one for quite some time no you have taken one okay that's not strictly true you have taken a few but you've had to take them in like holes in the ground and stuff like that and you know like there's not really any toilet paper or anything so like your past i would say five or six dumps have been terrible and you feel traumatized like as a result of having to take them to make a plane and um oh, fuck, there's a lot of ghouls here i think if i remember right anyway let's harvest this hub flower just to fuck off fucking get out of here fucking i hate ghouls god i hate them there's they're too fast that's the problem Look how accurate this thing is, though. You've got, like, quite a bit of ammo with it, too. Um, anyway, the sniper rifle is just, like, out of the question for these fucking guys. We'll steal all of their shit, though. What the fuck? Is there something in here? <laughs> Look at this thing. It's nice. Anyway, so there you are. You're really, like, bummed out because all of your shits have been really bad. And, like, you haven't been able to wipe properly or anything. And you're just feeling like really down in the dumps and you're feeling like something's got to give and you're, you're rustling around through like old department stores and everything is just a mess right like similar to this look like everything just looks gross right covered in like rust and a bunch of other shit i wonder if we can snipe these guys 
What are we carrying? Him? Oh, we got the sneak on him. All right. Oh. You bastards. Fucking assholes. Oh, Jesus. No. You're too fast. Okay, let's punch him. <laughs> I love the old one, too. Oh, you fucking son of a... Get out of here. Anyway, so... It's really gross, like I was saying. And then... Just somehow... Somewhere... You happen across... Just like a perfect toilet. And not only is it perfect, it's perfectly clean. It looks like it was maybe just installed before the bombs dropped. And somehow... It's just like in perfect condition. And... Uh... What's more, you flush and the plumbing is is still working? I mean, all hypothetical, right? But if that happened to you, would you just make like your new house around that toilet? Because I think that that would be a good thing to do. I Like, I, I totally would. Because at the very least, you're going to be able to take some dumps in a, a plum toilet, right? No? Because I think that that would be great. And it's kind of like, you know, in the olden days when people were first um, settling towns and villages and, and eventually making cities and stuff. They would always do it next to a river, right? And then... Can't open it from this end. Why is it chained? Who chains up a church door? We have to go in there and investigate. We need to... We also need to get to the vault. Don't get me wrong, but I want to know why this is chained up. Are there ghouls in there or something? Oh yeah, gosh, there's lots of them. Let's get out of here. I'm just trying to have a look here. I'm minding my own business. I'm, t I'm gonna take them out. Oh my god, this guy can't take them. Oh. Substantial beating, actually. Anyway, um... So, you know, people would poo in the river and it would go downstream and then they'd have the fresh water coming from upstream, right? And, um, I mean, I'm not saying that you should drink the toilet water in this case. In fact, I, I would not drink the toilet water. But I think it would just be really handy to have, like, a nice, decent place to do your thing in. After everything that's happened to you and after all that you've gone through. Um, I just think that that would be a good thing. I, do we have to go up here and get onto the roof? Is that what... Is that the deal here? I wonder if there's, like, something really cool in there. Fucking cool. Oh, my God. What the hell? Where did that come from? What the fuck was that? Fire. Oh, shit, there's a lot of them in here. Get out of here. Fucking Go away. There's a lot of ghouls here. Jamaica Plains. Is that a real place? Like, are all these places real? Does anyone here live in Boston? Anyone from Boston? Anyone in the chat from Boston? <laughs> it's like taking all the junk. No. Rust is broken now? Really? Yeah. No, I'm, I, I think so. I think a comfortable poop is the most important thing. That's what I'm saying anyway. Um, no. What difficulty am I playing on? I have no idea. I don't think I've changed it. How do you change it? Gameplay? Difficulty? Normal. All difficulty levels affect damage and the chance to encounter legendary enemies. So if I play on like super duper hard everything will be legendary don't get me wrong i like fighting legendary guys but holy shit like they can be tough i mean when we get into the vault 88 thing look at this guy what's he doing <laughs> what the fuck is he doing oh it didn't kill him shit <laughs> son of a bitch is there anyone else up here hey look at this it's like a clock on the wall i would like that i didn't even oh. A lot of this stuff is so useless, right? Is there like... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Shit. Is there a place in Diamond City where uh, you can sell a lot of stuff? Like, you can fence stuff? Oh, look at this desktop picture frame. It's like Admiral Nelson or something. I'll definitely be taking that. Alright, let's unlock this bitch, dude. Fucking... Come on. You can do it. Alright, we're in. Got it. Oh, laundered denim dress. Yes, please. We're taking it all. Rufio takes it all. You want to sit in the chair with the full power armor on? Probably not, right? All right. Anyway, we're up here. There's a box. Some psycho... A gold watch as well. 
it's not to be sneezed at. 